Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Paolo Contreras. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my grandma's favorite recipe, which is quesabirria tacos. This quesabirria is a mixture of a quesadilla and birria beef, which is a marinated meat. Um, and also a little broth that you actually enjoy while you eat the taco. You can dip it in and then bite it. I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. If you guys enjoy it, you go ahead and follow me right here. This is my first video in English. Thank you. The ingredients are 16 guajillo chili pots, 6 pasilla ancho chili pots, 10 red chili pots, about 10 bay leaves, 3 garlic bulbs, 1 tablespoon of cumin, 15 peppercorns and about 10 cloves. We're going to be adding 3 white onions, 7 tomatoes, 2 tablespoons of oregano, 2 cinnamon sticks, and about 2 tablespoons of chicken bouillon, and 1 tablespoon of white vinegar. The first thing we're going to do is cut the ends of the peppers, cut them in the middle, and then pull the seeds out and the little veins that we have inside of the chili pots. Now we're going to cut the tomatoes in big chunks. Once we cut them, we're gonna put them in the same plate with the chili pots. Now we move on to the onions. We're gonna clean the onions, peel them off, and then we're going to be cutting them in big chunks as well. Now I'm going to be peeling one of the garlic bulbs. Hot pan, we're gonna add oil and the garlic. We're going to be adding the onions that we chopped previously. Now we're adding the peppercorn and the cloves. After frying them for about five minutes, we're gonna be adding the tomato. One tablespoon of vinegar, we're gonna add it to the mix. We're gonna add salt, bay leaves. Then we cover on medium heat for about five minutes. After five minutes, we're gonna uncover, mix it up a little bit. Then we're gonna move all the ingredients to a blender. Then we're gonna open our blender and we're gonna be adding the oregano, the beef bouillon, and about half of the portion of the cumin so we can taste it and if it needs more, then we add more. After we blend them, we put them back on the same pan and we're gonna put it back in the stove. While we have that in the stove, we're gonna to move to blend the chili pods. In this case, I'm gonna be using just water to blend them together. Once we're done blending, I'm gonna go ahead and add it back to the same pan. Now we have 12 pounds of chuck roast. We're gonna be adding it to our pot with water. We're gonna add salt, the two cinnamon sticks, and all the meat. Then we're gonna be adding the mixture that we had previously blended. We cover in high heat for about three hours, and three hours later, this is the meat. This is how we actually get it. We're gonna start pulling it out in a separate container and start chopping it with our knives. As you can see, it's really tender and really juicy. Once the beef is shredded, I'm gonna be adding the broth back into the beef. After that, we have our griddle preheated with oil. Then we have our corn tortillas. We're gonna dip them inside of the broth that we had cooked our meat on. And we're gonna put them on the griddle. Then we're gonna get another tortilla and do the same thing. After that, I'm gonna grab a little bit of the broth, put it on top of the tortillas. Then we're gonna add mozzarella cheese on top of these tortillas that we have on the griddle. Now we're adding our birria beef on top of these quesadillas and we fold them in half. We add more broth to the quesadillas. Once the cheese is melted, we're ready to serve. Now for the tacos, I'm gonna add a cup of the broth and I'm gonna add some of the shredded beef. Now we can add some onions to our taco as well as cilantro and a little bit of jalapeno peppers, lime juice. Now the best part is to try them, of course. Now we're gonna grab our quesabirria, dip it inside of the broth, and of course, we're gonna try it and taste it. Mmm, so delicious. If you enjoyed my recipe, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And of course, don't forget to put in a comment in here where you're watching us from. Thank you.